Hello there, I hope you're having a great day today. I just wanted to shoot a video to show you something. Uh, it's a great angle that I use when I'm trying to sell products, and it's called the gift angle. And it's just a wonderful way to get sales. When you think about it, what are gifts? Well, uh, people love giving things as gifts. Men, in particular, buy a lot of jewelry for women over the course of history, right? Just go back in time. It's when jewelry makers are marketing, they do market to women, but they really, really market to men more, okay? Because it's a benefit of giving the gift that they're marketing. So men, myself included, are kind of programmed to give stuff as gifts. Okay? I'm not saying women don't do it. They certainly do as well. But when it comes to stuff like jewelry and that, I think it's more men buying it for other people, whereas women will buy jewelry for themselves or they'll show it to somebody, like their fiancé or potential fiancé and want them to buy it for them or their husband or boyfriend or whatever it may be. So gifts, it's just, it's a great angle to use if you're trying to get sales online. So they are year round as well. It's not just the holidays. Um, although I will say the holidays are probably the best time of the year to really have people buying gifts for other people. They can be year round. It doesn't have to be a birthday gift. Okay. So don't think that you have to target birthday people who are having a birthday or anything like that. That's not the case at all. So, <clears throat> what I found is sentimental stuff works works best, okay? The mushier, the better. Um, you want to get the reaction of almost a tear coming out of the receiver's eye. So <clears throat> this is especially true with jewelry, where you can put a very nice message on it. And these are treated kind of as keepsakes, and they just they create memories for the people who's receiving it. And they'll, they'll always think about that person who gave it to them when they get it. So take the sentimental angle, too, on top of the gift angle. Combine those two together into what's called the greeting card format. Okay, so that means when you open up a greeting card, it says, To whoever it may be, beautiful message inside, love whoever sent it. Right. So an example that I'm going to show you, um, to my son, put a nice quote in there, love dad. And you think, well, you're crazy. Guys, don't buy jewelry for their sons because their sons are not going to wear jewelry well as you'll see in a second that's absolutely incorrect they do and i was surprised too when i saw this so i can't wait to show this to you as well it's pretty awesome so let's see some examples so what you need to do is go to gear bubble and i'll show you some you can use google you can use whatever you want um, but gear bubble has a whole bunch of really good examples of the gift angle on here so if I go to categories, and let's just go to top sellers real quick, you'll see the gift angle in action. And here's a here's a top seller on Gearbubble. I'm kind of jealous because I want that spot. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> 21,000 plus sold. And this is the greeting card format. To my son, beautiful message. As God loved his only begotten son, I will love, protect, and encourage you. Love, Dad. So that is gifting with the greeting card format to a T and this this person is smart because they've also done son to dad dad to daughter dad to daughter papa to son dad daddy to son pop to son everything else so um, you can click it and you can see what else they have going on son to dad so he's basically taken everything every possible combo son to mom c50 sold compared to um, a dad buying it for, a, for a, a kid, like a son or a daughter. So that is a great way to do it, but it doesn't just stop there. I mean, look at the next highest seller on Gearbubble right now. To my wife. Beautiful saying. They didn't put the love your husband, but it's implied that it's from the husband, because if you're saying to my wife, then obviously it's to the husband. So let's have a look at this one. This is a... I think it's a heat changing mug. So they, they took that, sold, sold a ton. And I guess when you mouse over it, it changes color and it reveals a beautiful design. And this person did very, very well. So I think that's great. So there's a ton of examples on here. Um, those are just two. And it's neat because I actually cover these two niches uh, quite extensively. So I just wanted to show you that to give you an idea of, of where to start looking. Now, let's go back to our little 
presentation here. Now, could you do this? Well, absolutely you could do this, but here's the thing, and I, I'm like a broken record on this, but I don't condone copying, okay? So just because you saw a great looking necklace or a great look, looking mug or whatever it may be, take an, an idea and make it unique, okay? And here's the, the litmus test. If you were to hold up your design with another, so put your design in one hand, put the other design in another, put them in front of your face, look at them. Do they look the same? If the answer is yes, then it's a copy, okay? If they don't, I think you're good to go, all right? So these copying is a, is a huge issue, and once you've had something that's done super well and it gets copied, you're going to feel the pain of being copied. So if we all band together and we say, you know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to create my own unique stuff. I'm going to be creative. I'm gonna, you could certainly take a saying and apply it to your own design, but just do that test. Just think in your head, okay, does, does this look exactly like the other guys, or did I actually be creative and change it a bit, or change it enough to make it unique, all right? So <clears throat> that's what you need to do. I have a challenge for you as well. Come up with 10 of these ideas, okay? Try them out. I think you'll be very, very pleasantly surprised at the results. The, all the indicators are right there. I do this myself. I use the gift angle a lot in, in my sales, and I do very, very well with it. So I encourage you to come up with 10 of these, try them out, and see what your results will be. It doesn't have to be a necklace. It doesn't have to be a coffee mug. It could be anything. Okay, don't limit yourself. Enjoy.